What is up, fam? Welcome back to Laser Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my beautiful Libra zodiac sign. This is your general reading. So we're going to dive right in, guys, with the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Deck. Clarify the energy of Libra zodiac sign, please. What's going on with Libra? Oh, number one, manifest coming out. This is the magician energy here. Okay, so you could be putting in work here for something. Number one, clarity of belief. Bottom of the deck. All right. So we are going to clarify this energy here with the Gilded Royale deck. Guys, just remember, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross. And if you need to, please flip them. Also, guys, all the decks that I use are down in the description box below. So feel free to check that out along with the affiliate links if you're interested in purchasing any of those decks. Okay, Seven of Cups and the Hermit keep popping out. But... If it comes back out, I'll take it, okay? Clarify the energy for Libra. What is going on with Libra? Oh my gosh, you got the magician twice. You just got the magician twice, back to back. Okay. If that wasn't a sign for you. <laughs> okay? 1-1. One, one. Clarify the energy. Clarify the magician for Libra, please. Clarify the magician for Libra. Now, the magician represents that you have all the tools that you need to create something, to start something, to build something. Clarify the magician, please, for Libra. All right. And the bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords. Okay. So, the magician here, again, manifestation. Uh, saying that you have it all. You can create whatever it is that you want and that you desire. But I see the, do see the Eight of Cups and then the Ace of Swords. So I feel like here with the Magician, you've made your mind to, uh, made up your mind to start something here, right? Maybe to disconnect from a situation and to start, start something fresh here with the Ace of Swords, all right? The Eight of Cups is an emotional attachment. So this could be a job that you've been at for years and years or for some time that you've emotionally been attached to. This could also be a person, you know, a family member, a career, whatever it is. But I feel like you're detaching away and you're becoming the full energy, okay? Taking a leap of faith and you clearly know what you want to do. Like your mind is made up here, okay, with this Ace of Swords. Your mind is made up. Now, the Seven of Swords doesn't always have to be negative, okay? It doesn't always have to be deceptive, sneaky, lying, cheating type of energy. This could just necessarily mean that you're going out there doing something yourself, right? Maybe, you know, like maybe you left a job to start your own business or something like that, right? You, you've made up your mind to do something here. But let's see. Let's clarify this. Clarify the Eight of Cups for labor, please. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you've made up your mind. Judgment, okay? You've made your mind. You're clearly, you clearly decided that you are neglecting this and you're walking away from it. You're saying, I'm done with it. You might have looked over it and maybe realized that you weren't happy where, um, where you were in life. Let me push this down a little bit because I want you guys to see the cards. Maybe you weren't happy where you were, okay? And you made your mind up and decided that you no longer want to be there because the judgment is about... Um, it's, it's karmic cycles coming into play, but it's also the energy of coming before the angels and allowing them to judge you and for you to reflect on all of the decisions and paths that you've chosen. So maybe you felt like you weren't happy where you were at one point and you decided to uh, make your mind up to go towards something else. Bottom of the deck is the chariot. The chariot is about triumph and overcoming difficulties here. So let's see, clarify the Ace of Swords, the Hermit energy. See, that's the energy I was getting. You could be deciding to go into business for yourself here. We do have the Devil energy, though. So I don't know if you might have some fear or some anxiety there. Just trust the universe, okay? Trust your angels, trust your ancestors. They will never uh, guide you wrong here. Let's see, clarify the other energy here. Tell me more about Libra. What's going on with Libra here? Clarify the energy of Libra. So we have the Seven of Wands. Beautiful. This is you putting your foot down, standing up for yourself, okay? Being in a better defensive um, situation where you can really stand your ground here with the Seven of Wands. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands for Libra, please. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. So you could be going into business with other people, okay? You could be working with other people here, or you could be going into business by yourself, okay? 
We have the Three of Pentacles and the Emperor energy. The Emperor is all about um, control, stability. You know, he's very um, honcho as far as like the shot caller. You know, business wise, he can be the he's real good at like uh, being the boss. OK, uh, CEO of a company type of energy here. And then we have the hanging man energy. So this is telling me that you're voluntarily doing this here. Like you decided that you wanted to do this. It is the the hang the hangman in the traditional deck is hanging from the tree of wisdom, the tree of knowledge, right? And he's doing that voluntarily to see things from a different perspective or a different angle, right? To gain that knowledge there. So I feel like that's what you've you've done. Like you've been suspended uh, for a moment to figure out what your next move is or what you need to do here with this three of pentacles and the emperor i just feel like you're working towards your either some type of promotion or some type of management position some type of stability in your life here again you could be going into business for yourself you could also be working with uh two other people with this three of pentacles you could be working together on a group project to build something here or to create something Let's clarify the three of pentacles. Whoa, the death card. See, there's an ending here. But you know, when the death comes, there's always a new beginning, right? You've put an end to something. Yeah, you've put an end to some type of situation. You you dated it, right? And then the star card is coming out, which means you're being optimistic. You're being um, positive, right? Your dreams are coming true. Wish fulfillment here type of energy. Maybe you were wishing to work with... Um, Two other people that you've always wanted to, like on a project of some sort. We have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So this is the start of something very stable. It may be it may be slow growing or slow progress, but it's something that you've been wanting to do, that you've been wishing for and hoping for here. Let's clarify the Emperor here. Clarify the Emperor. The Justice card. Yeah, you've made up your mind here. With the justice card. This is karmic cycles coming into play as well. Clarify the emperor. The Libra. Clarify the emperor. The two of cups. See, you're you're listening to your higher self. Okay. The two of cups is um, not only twin flame energy, but it's also your connection to source here. So you connecting to your higher self and making your, your decisions. This here, this is the universe is coming in and giving your, your karmic just due, right? The scales are balancing out for you here with this justice card. This could be some type of legal situation. Maybe you get the money that you need, the advancement that you need to start this business, or you get the money that you need um, to go out there and do exactly what you love. Okay, the justice means that car uh, karma's coming in and it's balancing the scales out. Four of Pentacles. See, there's saving money, keeping things close to the chest here. Let's see. Let's pull some more cards here. Of Let's do your fortune reading cards here. Tell me what's going on with Libra. What messages do you, they need to know? Whoa. Yeah. Beautiful. See, we have luck. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Okay, so be confident. Luck is on your side here. Things are working out in your favor, right? And then we also have goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Look at that. All those coins and those money. Those monies. <laughs> all of those coins and all that money is coming into play here. Again, for some of you, something you've been waiting on is coming in for you here. Something. This could be a promotion and you make more money. Okay. This could be a job opportunity where you get some type of management position. Okay. We have Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. You could have been going through a lot. You could have left one job and, and just praying and hoping that you would get an opportunity. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like the opportunity of a lifetime comes in for you. And yeah, it sounds too good to be true, but the universe is giving it to you because you manifested it. Let's see. Let's pull your Whispers of the Ocean Oracle here. See what comes out for you, Libra. What messages do you have for Libra? This is beautiful. What messages do you have for Libra? What do they need to know? Thank you. So we have inner desires. Set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. 
goals are within your grasp. You see, I cannot make this up. All of these cards are coming out. Two different decks. I'm sorry, three different decks here. And they're saying the same thing. You got the Justice and the Golden Royale. You got Luck and Goals and the, uh, what is that called? Tarot Reading Card deck. And then Whispers of the Ocean Oracle, you got Inner Desires. And it's saying you are entering a phase of plenty. Wow, that's beautiful. Clarify the energy for Libra. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Number 12, replacing what was lost. You now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew. Create with a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. See, you cannot make this shit up. I'm telling you, Libra. This is beautiful. Number 42, gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish. Look at there. So maybe you're going into, yeah, you you could have left the company, right? It could have been one of those situations. You left the company because you weren't getting what you deserved in that company. You made your mind up that you wanted something better, right? And you really stood up for yourself, right? And this the same company could come back in and say, you know what? You're right, Libra. You're right. You do deserve better. Because of that, we're going to offer you this management position. It could be anything. I'm telling you, anything. Every step counts. Number 10. There is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Bottom of the deck. Okay, let's end you off with your star seed. See what messages. No, you know what? I don't even want to do star seed. Let's do your fortune cookie. Tarot cards. Because I, you know what? I feel like it's going to come out good. Let's see. Tell me about Libra. What message do you have for Libra? What message do you have for Libra? We have planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Let for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Look at there. Look at there. You cannot make this up. My goodness. Sunshine. The sun is shining on your career and business growth. Fabulous communication in relationships. Libra, let me tell you. You're about to have some good things coming in for you. If it's money, you're not going to have to have no worries. Things are going to work out in your favor. Those jobs, you're going to get those jobs that you applied for. That position that you wanted, you're going to get that position. Whatever this is, because you're connected to source, and the universe is saying now is the time for you because you've manifested this. you put in the work. You've done what you needed to make this happen for yourself. So, oh my goodness, Libra, this is amazing for you. This is beautiful. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what this is. I would definitely love to know what this gold is or what this is that's coming in for you. Because this is beautiful. Okay? This is beautiful. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. <laughs> Alright? So I appreciate you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.